Amit Singh and welcome to Only Innovative. Today, I'll be showing you how do we make a plotter using a 3D printer. Before we get started, I would like to thank all of you for sharing my videos with your friends and subscribing to my channel. We have finally reached 1000 subscribers guys. Woohoo! And I hope we reach 10,000 subscribers soon. And if you are a new viewer, please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button below. So let's get started. First, you will need to 3D print this pen holder. Now, unscrew the two screws from cooling fan. Place the pen holder and screw it back. plot only innovative it is a jpeg file you can open image you want to plot in cura and change the following settings set height to 0.01 mm base to 0 mm select darker is higher slide the smoothing bar to zero position now we have converted our 2D image file into a 3D file. Now in quality tab set layer height to 0.01. Initial layer height to 0.01. Under shell tab set wall thickness to 0.4 mm. Top bottom thickness to 0. Under infill tab, you can set infill density as your wish. I am going to use 100%. Under material tab, change all temperature settings to 0 degree Celsius. In speed tab, set print speed to 40 mm. Under travel tab, change combing mode to off. Check the Z hop when retracted box. And set Z hop height to 1.5 mm. Uncheck the enable print cooling under cooling tab. Select none in build plate addition type. Now click on prepare and save the file. the paper on heat bed and clip it using drawing clips. Slide in a marker into pen holder, print the file and here is a very important part. Place your pointer finger on Z mechanical switch when it is about to home its position so that Z axis gets to home position 10 mm above the original home position. This is done so that while plotting the nozzle doesn't drag the paper on heat bed. Now push the marker down so that it touches the paper and starts plotting.
colorful image, you will need to convert it to black and white image. To do so, open it in Photoshop. Duplicate the background layer. Disable the background layer and select the copy layer. Go to the image tab. Under adjustment, select threshold. Play with the threshold until you find your details. You can crop the image if you want and then save it as JPEG format. Slice it with same settings we used previously and send it to your 3D printer to plot. The results are awesome and also minute details are achieved. 